Rolling? Yes, sir. All right. This is the uh, next one. Uh, world's first from last year. This is that silver jean I was talking about. And you know what? Uh, why don't we pause it for a second and we'll be right back. Because we're going to show you a silver real fast. Going? This is it. Hit it? Yeah. Alright, I've been mentioning the silver thing. The silver gene. This is a silver. This is a uh, purebred Colombian that popped out. Uh, like I said, somewhere between 12 to 15 years ago. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, I ended up with a few of them, and they are at least a dominant gene, which means whatever you breed to it, some of the babies are going to come out with a silver appearance, just like this. And so it's definitely a duplicating gene. So this is what I now have involved in the lavender albino boa basement line animal. So. Just a big. This this is one of the this is one of the hats that have been producing my uh, boa basement lavender albinos too. Uh, so she is 100% het for lavender albino. So we just wanted to get that out of the way because I have no babies to show you of this. We just have the big ones. So now we'll get back and show you the effect that the lavender has on the yearling. Uh, silver lavender albino that we just interrupted showing you and now we will get back to showing you more of him okay we're back and uh, so now this is that silver gene with the lavender albino laying on top of it I have no idea what it's going to look like as an adult this is a world's first so we, we have Still a year or so, uh, you know, he'll probably be really glowing at five, five and a half, six feet. We don't, usually don't get the males much larger than that, but uh, he'll, he'll be showing everything by the time he's an adult. Uh, Nick was pointing out some of the things he never even noticed about this animal that are, are coming in, such as the orange striping on the sides, and just, just you know, the intensity of what the tail and stuff like that what else you like about it Nick we'll see this orange I don't know if you guys can pick this up but it's really nice orange color that comes through above the medallions Below the medallions, it seems to run down the entire body. Nice orange color all throughout. Really deep red, rich maroon tail. Moving around a lot, but <laughs> yeah, he, he's been he's been bothered a little bit. But uh, we'll show you future videos of once Motley is even added to the silver, it it really makes a crazy looking animal. Um, the blacks are incredibly black. The, the silvers are just brilliant silver, and you know, obviously somewhere down the road, and it's still going to be many years where we. Wanting, we definitely want to get you know Motley involved, IMG involved in this project. Um, Key West, uh, Celtic. It's just a number of these these things that are going to bring different color schemes to this whole uh, boa basement lavender albino project. So we'll get away from him now. Then the, the third and final animal for this video we'll show you is a combination of these two animals you saw uh, it will be in the form of a orange shell hypo silver boa basement lavender albino bow.
I won't say bow basement every time, guys. I think you're kind of getting it that there's nothing else like this out there in the industry. So we will move on to the next one.